Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I hope you're enjoying Boxing Day. I wanted to do some kind of a festive video. Look at Barney here, giving me kisses. You feeling festive? Yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to do some kind of festive video today with it being Boxing Day and I wanted to film a what I got for Christmas and I have a couple of things from me to me. I have things from family and friends that I want to share and um, I also wanted to mention that it is my 30th birthday in eight or nine days time, 4th of January. So uh, I got, yeah, a little spoilt this year. I decided to go all out and treat myself to some new bits as well. So yeah, I wanted to film this video, but before I jump into sharing with you some of the things that I did get, I wanted to firstly thank Readly for very kindly sponsoring today's video. If you've not heard of Readly before, I am already a customer. I am a lover of their app and it is essentially that it's an app which you can use on your phones, tablets, basically browse their thousands and thousands of magazine choices to choose from. So I quite often like to look at interiors. Over the festive period I've been looking at Christmas magazines as well for inspiration on festive meal ideas, different kind of baking ideas for the festive period, decorations as well. So much so that I was inspired by a lot of them to add a pop of burgundy within my Christmas tree which you may be able to spot. I feel like into the new year my magazine choice will be the sort of fitness magazines helping, helping me get a bit of motivation to get going again if you can see my leggings wet through oh thanks for your paw i just got caught in the rain outside which is just delightful some of you may be aware that this christmas tom is spending it with his mum so whilst he travels he does his thing whatever he does he also has access to the readly app you can have access up to five devices which is amazing and also i have a special offer of two months for free. You can cancel any time thereafter, it's 9 99 I feel like it's a one of those situations where you might as well take advantage, get your two months free. Try it out, see what you think. You won't be disappointed ever since I've tried it out. I have been loving it. And in order to get that offer, all you need to do is click on my unique link, which I'll leave in the description box for you to click through and then download the app and start browsing the thousands of magazines that they have to offer. There's local and international magazines included and there are archived magazines like older editions if you want to go back and have a look at something you can. And you also get uh, newspapers as well, it's not just magazines. You've got The Independent, Evening Standard, The Times. Let me get it up now on my phone so you can see exactly what it is. Radio Times at Christmas, you just can't beat it. Oh, that's the magazine that Tom likes, Stuff. He likes kind of gadgety magazines. That's the one in particular that he likes. So you just get the magazine title, you can just scroll through and read it. Thank you to Readly for very kindly sponsoring today's video. This is by no means bragging or showing off or anything like that. I feel like people that do what I got for my birthday, what I got for Christmas videos have to just do a bit of a disclaimer and say that. I really don't think you need to. But I absolutely love watching these videos. They're one of my favourites to, to watch. So... And they're nice to look back on as well. So anyway, thank you once again to you at Readly. Don't forget to take advantage of that offer by clicking my unique link in the description box. Get your two months free of charge. Well worth the investment, considering the amount of magazines that you get to choose from. So anyway, thank you to Readly. And without further ado, let's get in to the What I Got For Christmas video. Happy Christmas. I know I've already said happy Christmas to you already at the start of this video, but I hope you all had an amazing day, I really, really, truly do. So we're gonna go spend some time with some family, friends today. So the first thing, let's talk about my extravagant purchase for this year. It is definitely more so of a 30th birthday gift. It's a big milestone. I got a watch and I'm not really typically a watch wearer either. So you may have seen in my Vlogmas episode, myself and Tom went to pick up my brand new watch from DMR in Altrincham. I'll show you a bit of a close up, but it is a Rolex. Let me just come a bit closer so it can focus. There we go. And also that's upside down. <laughs> this is really awkward. So it is a Rolex Datejust steel and yellow gold combo just because I feel like I wear a lot of yellow gold 
and yeah I went for the Roman numerals face went for the size which is 36 I just love it I'm, I'm still getting used to wearing a watch all the time but it's my special gift this year so yeah another amazing gift that my parents got me and I helped them out a little bit with an idea I was fully expecting to like well it's my birthday and Christmas but um, fully expecting to buy it myself and they were like no we'll buy it for you it's a brand new vlogging camera vlogging and sat down video camera I'm definitely late to the game with this camera but I'm still on the Canon G7X Mark II which is a great camera I'll still use it as like a backup but this is the one that I feel like most people have moved on to. It's got like the kind of blurred background, like the cinematic look. It's got the mic. There's a few little bits that I'm going to buy to go with it. Um, I've bought like myself like a spare battery and all the kind of boring stuff. But yeah, I'm so excited to start getting this out and start playing with it. So exciting. So I also got loads of white company bits this year, which is amazing. My friends and family know me well. So the first thing that I got from my parents is... Um, something that I actually knew I was getting because mum did say is this something that you might want and I said yes so they very kindly treated me to white company bath mat and I love this one in particular they have a few different styles but this one is my fave because it's got the good old white company actually embossed on it so this is going to go in my bathroom I do have a similar kind of one obviously without white company written on it from home bargains which I have to say at 3 dollars is an incredible dupe and it's definitely a favorite of mine I'm either going to switch it to a different bathroom or even just use it as a spare so when that one's in the wash I've got that one spare because I do really love that one. And then my friends got me, this is such a surprise and so well received, I'm in love. It's a hamper from The White Company and inside it is full of loads of bits in the midnight scent, which is actually one of the kind of seasonal scents for this time of the year that I've never tried before. So that was so exciting. I've had a little whiff already and very impressed. I do really really love it so in here is that's my phone going off in here is the um, diffuser in midnight there is also a room spray in the midnight scent again so in fact let me tell you the notes of this ginger cardamom and amber love 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 and then there's also some little festive uh, votives they're called is that what they're called mini votives star ceramics where you can actually spritz on the spray that it comes with and hang it on your tree or hang it around your house and they smell amazing so I might even save those ones for next year for when I get the tree back out and then inside this hamper you get the midnight botanical candle which is amazing so this one is the I think it's like a medium sized pillar candle got the midnight blue ribbon on and the little berries and like fur bits in that so so pretty and then also to go with that you get in this hamper the if I can get it out I'm covered in all the stuff one of the meat yeah it's a medium candle medium botanical plates that it just kind of sits on so that was so lovely of my friends to get me that they really spoiled me this year they know that I love the white company so thank you girlies if you're watching and then my brother and his girlfriend got me a few bits we got myself and tom some like home bits so this is one of my favorite books and i do actually have one of these and they know how much i love it i've even talked about it in a video before about getting a second one because as a display book like a coffee table book this is lovely it's a great book in itself it's got some really nice recipes and things from soho house eat drink nap it's called and I feel like when we have renovated it'd be nice to have one in the kitchen area but also like I said as a kind of a display book I quite like it in the bedroom because it's got that nap on it eat drink nap they also got me a brand new one of these and if you've never tried these they are incredible I've had one for a few years now absolutely trashed it because it's been well loved every single day and it's one of these from the flat lake company one of these makeup bags that expands they do so many colors and different varieties they actually got my mum one as well and essentially opens out to this big flat um bag so that when you open it all your makeup is easy to find spread out just honestly makes life so much easier so it's got this toggle drawstring that you cinch in when you want to close it and it's even got a little handle as well that you can 
carry honestly perfect gift and they also know me well they got me a nice kind of neutral nude kind of color in that I also got from yet again the white company Tom's mum absolutely spoilt me she got me the coziest of cozies the white company slippers which I know are so hard to get hold of at this time of the year because they're just such a big seller like a bestseller so I'm so happy to finally have my first ever pair of White Company slippers. She also got me, um, oh here it is, a, um, a little box with yet again some more White Company bits in. Honestly, I feel like friends and family know that I love the White Company and it shows. So in here they there is a set of PJs. Again, White Company pajamas are my fave. Tom bought me some last year and I've honestly lived in them. They are my favourite pajamas. So, um, yeah, I decided to suggest some PJs for Christmas which my mum actually got some festive ones which we opened for Christmas Eve we all had matching which was cute but yeah the white company ones I got the top in a large it's like a waffle um print so I would size up if you can in these pajamas same with the slippers actually I've tried on the slippers and I'm glad I sized up to like the seven I think the seven to eight because they fit quite snug until you kind of wear them in a, lit a little bit. Oh, this is cute as well. My mum got me, mum and dad got me this from the White Company. And it is a little hand sanitizer carrier in this little leather case, which you can just refill and take it out and about with you, which is so adorable. I got some cozy socks. These are from Tom's mum as well and very in line with my colour. Um, these ones are actually got cashmere in as well so amazing and then these ones are boot socks and then she also got me this which is like I just did so me test your dog's IQ I'll be testing this out let's have a look if your dog does something wrong but has not yet been reprimanded does he show signs of remorse and you tick either always sometimes or never with this one that's currently asleep next to me it's always <laughs> He knows if he's done wrong. In fact, sometimes he'll look at me a certain way and like kind of wag his tail a bit extra and like, like, like he's holding something in his mouth. So I know by him acting the way he does that he's done something before I've actually realized that he has done something. So yeah, always for him. I also got in my stocking a trusty fave. They've changed the packaging recently, which I had no idea about. So I've got a brand new stock up of my number seven new lip liner. This is the lip liner that I absolutely swear by. I wear every single day with just a lip balm. So I'm glad I've got another one of those. I also got a 2020 diary calendar. My favorite chocolates, all time favorite is Gillian. Uh, what else did I get? I got some, oh this is cute in my stocking. Some Harry Potter, in fact we all got some of these. Some Harry Potter playing cards. I've only got to film two this year, so I feel like I need to catch up. I like to watch them all every Christmas. And yeah, I've only got round to watching the first two this year. Um, I also got this in my stocking again um, from my parents. This is from Reese, and it's actually a hand sanitizer. But I love the bottle of this. It's in the scent Black Oud as well. So that in itself is a lovely, like, on display hand sanitizer bottle but with my little white company diffuser diffuser um travel sanitizer thing i can also pop some of that in there and have it on the go with me as well and then also from reese my mum actually got me mum and dad mum and dad actually got me a few bits from reese so they got me this cap i love a black cap for dog walks it's like a nice suede one it's really nice actually and then they also got me this for traveling it's a little luggage tag in this kind of like greeny gray color i wonder if it says the color on the label because it's a really unusual color taupe okay taupe <laughs> very unusual uh not really so i also got this from reese again for traveling it is a little travel pouch which has lots of different compartments for your passports cards travel wallet things that you need boarding passes whatever it may be and it comes with a little kind of duster bag as well which is very handy and that's in the same color as the luggage tag we actually all got one of these my brother and his girlfriend they also 
very kindly got me some cute festive baubles to add to my collection. So these ones are, in fact, I have some similar to this, not in this shape, but I have like the beaded with the black velvet. This glass bird, which is lovely. A very country looking tweed owl. And then this beautiful pearled uh, fluted glass bauble. Very heavy, that one. And then also I got this uh, from the White Company, one of their um, little decorations. It's actually one of my mum's tree back there. It's the love on the green, green, it's more like taupe, grey taupe, uh, velvet ribbon that just says love. I love that. So that's definitely going to be added to my tree next year, as are the others. And then what else? Oh, we've got Barney one of these, which is very exciting. My mum actually said, should I get Barney some toys? And I'm like, he has a whole, I can see it over there, a whole sack full of toys that I'm getting him. Um, so actually, I'd love a barber bandana. My friend bought me one of these last year because she knew we were getting a puppy at the time and it was the small version. So I, he wore it loads when he was a puppy. Now that he's bigger, I said to mum, if you could get me the bigger version because I know he's gonna love it i'm gonna love it on him let's be real then i also got some uggs i think i vlogged this recently actually this is a new purchase i got some new boots i got some dubarry boots which have been amazing they're actually out in the utility at the minute because they're a bit muddy but i also thought i would get some ugg boots for more as a quick slip on running errands just letting the dog out in the garden taking him out that kind of thing where you don't need to full-on have proper walking boots but just something a bit more comfortable relaxed so i went for the chocolate brown color and then i also got some yum loads of yummy treats but got some hotel chocolate they're my fave well gillian's my fave but hotel chocolate are a good variety pack of chocolates absolute favorite of mine that they discontinued from Clarins a while back is their BB Skin Detox Fluid. Now I got the shade 00. I was so happy to see that they had this back in stock. So I switched from this originally when it went out, out when it stopped being produced to one from Bare Minerals, their tinted gel cream, which is amazing. But I'm excited to go back to this and see if the formula is the same, see if they've changed it or anything. But I'll let you guys know how I get on with that. So loved it before they discontinued it. I was very sad to see it go. Um, I got all of the Christmas um, new flavours this year from Nespresso for our coffee machine. And then from Rolex as well when I popped in and picked it up. They also gifted me a Rolex perfume, which is so generous of them. Um, I don't even know if you can buy this, you know, and I couldn't seem to find it. So I don't know if, I don't know if um, they do actually sell them. But anyway, that was very kind of them to do that. And then they also gave me, the team at DMR are amazing. They also gave me a tin of my fave champagne, Verve very nice this is a neon perfect night perfect night's sleep pillow mist i love the neon home fragrance scents they honestly do home fragrance so well especially the neon pods it's not even gonna focus let's get my new camera um the neon pods that they do they now do a mini version which you can pop in like your car at your desk at the office so i might even invest in one of those because i think it's really handy to have a travel size but yeah Amazing pillow mist, love a pillow mist. And then last but not least, I got this. This was actually a treat for myself to myself and I got Lydia one as well. Um, my friend Lydia here on YouTube, she and I once went shopping in Selfridges and we were very tempted by the replica um, Maison Margiela candles in By the Fireplace. Now they didn't have By the Fireplace in, but when I went in they had Jazz Club and is it Whispers in the Library it's called? Both kind of similar masculine seasonal for this time of year scents. So I decided to pick up one of each. I let her sniff the tissue paper. She ended up going for the other one. So I kept this one for myself. Jazz Club. Love it. So bar a few treats here and there. I think that is pretty much everything that I got this year. Absolutely spoil. I am over the moon with everything that I received. Thank you to all my friends and family for being so generous as always. I did get one ex experience from Tom. Tom bought, well Tom and Barney, bought us a trip away to the Lake District. There's a hotel called Another Place, which we've had a look at online. Looks amazing, dog friendly. So we're going to head over there mid-January for a couple of nights stay and just 
have a bit of time to just switch off, relax, go walking, swimming even. They have an amazing spa as well. And it's all dog friendly, which is a bonus. So obviously little Barney Boo is going to be coming with us on that trip. So that was such a lovely surprise from Tom this year. He is sunning it up currently in Fort Aventura with his mum for Christmas. They're FaceTiming me every single day, sending me loads of photos, very jealous of the beach holiday that they're getting. However, I have to be honest, for me Christmas, you just can't beat it being in the UK with maybe a bit of snow. That would be my ideal Christmas. Anyway, I'm going to go get dressed, get finished, getting ready for the day, put some of my Christmas gifts into one pile, because let's face it, they all kind of stay in a pile for at least the next two days. Barney's got his own pile now. Let me just show you him, he's zonked. That is his box full of goodies over there. He got well and truly spoiled, loads of treats, and we're going to family friends today, whereby he's gonna be meeting a Fox Red Lab and he's gonna be having lots of playtime and fun. I hope you enjoy the rest of the festive period. Have an amazing time. I'm not gonna be uploading now until the new year, so stay tuned for the 2nd of January where I'm gonna be doing my first video for 2022. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Stay safe, sending lots of love and well wishes to everyone this year, whether you celebrate Christmas or not. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in the new year with my next video. Bye guys.